So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install my favorite Kodi build called Durex. Now, if you watched my previous video, I showed you how to actually install Kodi onto the Fire Stick. But after that point, we can now install the actual build. So let's get started. All right, so if you watched my previous video on how to install Kodi onto the Fire Stick, this is the point where you should have left off. Now, moving forward, I'm going to show you how to install the Durex build onto Kodi. Now the first thing you want to do is move up until you see the gear icon. This is our settings page. So go ahead and click on that. Then you want to move over to the right and down under system settings. From here, go to add-ons and then move to the right and make sure that you have unknown sources enabled. So go ahead and click on that and just make sure that it is enabled. This is going to allow us to install third party software. So once you have that enabled, move back and move down to File Manager. Then you want to go ahead and add a source. So as you can see on the screen where it says none, just go ahead and click on that and type in this URL. All right, so that's http colon double slash durextv.xyz slash wiz. So once you have that typed in, move over and click OK. Then you want to move down and nickname this source. So what I'm going to call it is just Durex. All right, so I put in a name for the source. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And move down and click OK. So once you have that source added in, we can use our remote and go back until we hit the home screen of Kodi. And from here, you want to move down and click on add-ons. You want to click on it. And this should bring you to this page where we can move up until you see that little box icon and click on that. Then we want to choose install from zip file. And at this point, you want to click Durex and click the first option, which is plugin program Durex wizard. So after selecting the wizard, you want to just give it some time. What it's doing is installing it onto your Kodi build. So don't do anything right now until on the top right of your screen, you see that it has been installed. So as you can see on the top right, it has been installed at this point. So that took about a minute or so, and this is going to automatically start running the wizard. So if you see any messages like this, we could go ahead and dismiss it. And here's a few options for the wizard. I just keep everything on default and I click continue. Then you want to choose build menu. So here's the build menu and basically all we need to do is just select which version of Kodi we have. So what I have right now is 17.6 and as you can see on the screen, that's the first one on the list. So just go ahead and select that. and come down to the bottom and choose standard install. And it's going to ask you, do you want to download and install the Dorex build? You want to select yes, install. And just give this a few minutes, let it prepare everything for you. All right, so that took anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And once it's done, you should be prompted with this notification asking you to force close Kodi. So just go ahead and click force close and it should bring you back to the Fire Sticks home screen. Now, what we wanna do here is to make sure that we did actually force close Kodi. So use your remote and go up and go back to settings. This time, go ahead and find applications then select Manage Installed Applications. What we're going to do here is find Kodi, click on it, and select Force Stop. So let's go back to the home screen and we could relaunch Kodi. So again, Kodi is at the top of the list and just go ahead and select it. And this will be the first run of our Durex build on Kodi.
and here it is. So if it is your first run of this build, definitely give it five to 10 minutes before touching anything. What you wanna do is just let it update, let it load everything before messing around with the options. So give it five, 10 minutes without touching anything. So here's something that can happen occasionally when you start up Kodi. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see something that says fail to install dependencies. So sometimes Kodi does get stuck, sometimes things don't install properly. So if everything is frozen and nothing is working, all you wanna do is go back to the home screen, go back to settings, select manage applications and shut down Kodi again. Then relaunch and try it again. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go back to the home screen. Go to settings, applications, manage install applications, find Kodi and force stop. Then I'm gonna go back to the home screen and relaunch Kodi and see if this helps. All right, so all the add-ons are fully updated and installed and we are back up and running. So the Durex build is running exactly the way it should. Now this is about pretty much all you have to do to install the Durex build onto your Kodi. Now if you do need step-by-step -step instructions on actually how to use Durex, then I do have another video which I'll link in the description that gives you instructions on how to use this. But at this point, we are pretty much done. This is how you install Durex onto your Fire Stick. Perfect, so that was pretty easy. So hopefully after watching this video, you can now enjoy your favorite TV shows and movies. Now, if you need instructions on how to actually use this build to watch all of your favorite content, I do have another video up that gives you some pointers on how to use Kodi. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.